Vine slapped her friend's hand away who was trying to mess with her hair. Her friend laughed and then got down the table as the professor entered the class and all the students got in their seats. The smile got wiped off Vine's lips. It was that one professor she didn't like at all. He gave her creepy vibes and stared at her all the time. When she discussed it with her friend, she told Vine that he gave that look to everyone. If it was with Vine alone, she would have told it to her husband. But now that this professor was the same with everyone, she was planning to complain it to the dean or the principal. She focused on the lecture, not giving much attention to the man and his creepy eyes on her all over again. The way he eyed her like he was mentally stripping her naked and she got so uncomfortable she almost pulled out her phone to text her husband. Professor Wyan, no using mobile in the classroom. She cursed internally, locking away the screen as he walked up to her, extended his hand. Professor, take it back after class. She sighed and put it on his hand, but he intentionally closed his fist before Wine could pull her hand back. She swore. She saw him smirk, touching her hand, before he walked away. A kind of fire and anger burned inside of her, and she wanted to punch him in the face. That's it. She was not letting this slide in any way. She left the class in the middle when she was done with his stares and smirks. While being extremely mad, she spent some time to calm herself down, then went to his office to fetch her phone back after the class had ended. Professor, you use cell phone in the class, then leave it in the middle. And now, coming back to take it, you need to learn some manners, girl. Vine, you need to learn some shame. She balled her fist, trying not to say anything bad for now. He stood up, walking to her, and grabbed her wrist. Professor, Looks like I need to teach you some manners. Wine winced and tried to pull her wrist back but he was much stronger. She pushed him with other hand and slapped him, regardless of the consequences she might have to face. His face turned red with anger and he threw her on the ground and locked the door. Wine knew something was wrong that instant as he walked back to her. She grabbed a pen and stepped back, pointing it at him, ready to stab him if he dared step near her. He just laughed before he stepped over her wrist and hovered above her. Wine screamed under his weight and felt like her wrist was going to break. It hurt so bad it almost snatched her breath away. He then grabbed her jaw tightly and roughly. Professor, I'll make sure you'll never forget this lesson. He laughed while she only tried to set free regardless of how much his weight was giving pain to her wrist.
वायन लेट मी गो माय हजबेंड विल किल यू प्रोफेसर हजबेंड यू वॉन्ट मी टू बिलीव दैट ही ओनली लाफ्ट फर्दर एस ही रिमूव हर जैकेट एंड हर स्कर्ट She was still in her leggings and shirt when they heard a gunshot. He stilled and instantly looked at the door which flew open and before he could process he was shot in his leg. He cried out in pain and fell off wine holding his thigh. Wine sat up instantly while tears ran down her cheeks and ran to her husband. Jungkook took her in his embrace and wrapped one arm around her protectively while his other hand held the gun and his eyes were stuck on the professor who kept crying out of pain. Junko found wine skirt on the floor and that burned his boil further as she pulled away he realized she was keeping her wrist in the air unable to move it in an awkward position that's when he noticed how damaged it was and the bomb inside of him exploded he calmly took off his coat and wrapped it around her He was big and so his coat was able to cover her completely. Jungkook, let's get you treated. He cupped her cheeks and then kissed her head and without sparing the professor another glance, he picked her up and walked out of there. The professor was taken into custody by Jungkook's men. He was going to personally deal with him later, but first, his girl was hurt and she was his priority. Jungkook took her home and treated her wrist himself. He was an expert in treating wounds and things like that. belonging to better field as much as he belonged behind an office table he was a jack of all trades after he was done with her treatment he treated her with her favorite chocolate made by his own hands and held her in his embrace Jungkook he is going to pay for it. Wayan, how did you know? I was hurt and in that room. Jungkook, your heartbeat was irregular. Your smartwatch sent me an alert. He kissed her head and tightened his arms around her. He was already in pain seeing her in this condition. If anything happened more he would never be able to survive Jungkook was a man who had survived a great deal of suffering and rough events in his life mentally and physically both yet nothing can ever compare to the pain he feels when she is hurt Wayne I knew you would come I didn't know how but I just knew you would save me like you have been saving me since the first day I feel so safe knowing I have you Jungkook I will come next time I'll make sure it's quicker 
before anyone can even step near you. It's never repeating. I'll make sure of that. He kept her in his embrace, softly caressing her wrist where she was hurt, and waited until she slept in his arms, feeling safe and protected. Jungkook afterwards took care of that professor himself. He had him tortured with his own hands, the kind of torture he learnt in military that a common man would never be able to survive. But Jungkook made sure he survived, treated his wound only to torture him all over again for a whole month, until he was crying and begging to be killed, and lastly, Jungkook had burned him alive. But none of this satisfied Jungkook's anger that he felt every time he looked at his wife and remembered the pain she experienced. But she had healed and was happy again. Jungkook fulfilled his promise of protecting her and was going to do so forever.